nyumbani wakusanyike ili kukesha na kusali basi kama kumbukumbu ya pasaka ya Bwana kwa kulisikiliza neno lake na kukutukuza mafumbo yake tutakuwa tumaini la kushiriki ushi, ushu, ushindi wake juu ya mauti na la kuishi pamoja naye katika Mungu tuombe e Mungu Abaye kwa jia ya mwanao uliwapa waamini moto wa mwanga wako utakase moto huu mpya utujalie sisi tuwake tamaa za mbinguni kwa siku kuu hizi za pasaka sudi tupate kusifikia kwa roho safi sheleza mwanga wa milele kwa jia ya Kristu bwana wetu Kristo leo mwanzo na mwisho alfa na omega nyakati ni zake na karne pia utukufu ni wake na enzi pia na karne zote za milele amina Kwa majeraha yake matakatifu na matukufu atulinde na kutuweka salama Kristu Bwana wetu amina
itakayofuata sasa tutaadamana sote kanisani lakini Tukiwa hapa mlangoni Shemasi atatualika katika kushangilia msumaa wa Pasaka atoka hapo fika katikati vile vile atafanya hivyo na tukiwa katikati hapo ndipo tuta
Shila marai kawa bingu ni na wafu rahe wafu rahe watu mishi waki mungu na panda ya wukovu ipigwe Tanga zaushindi wa mfalmemku na yonchiri anga zana nuru kumbwa sana ifurahi na kwa kuwa imemli kwa na mwanga wa mfalme wa mi ele itabu we ya kuwa imeyondo ke wa nagizala Uli mwengu Na ye mama kanisa liye pambo vizuri Kwa ta nyingize nye kuwaka Afurahi na sauti za watu Zivume katika ukumbi Ba 
Basi ndugu zangu wapendwa sana Mnaosi mama hapa Katika nuru kubwa ya mwanga umtakatifu Tafadhali muombe pamoja nami Huruma ya Mungu mwenyezi Yeye aliyependa kuniweka miongoni mwa walawi Inga wa sistahili Ani angaze nuru ya mwanga wake Ani weze shekutangaza biu ya sifa Ya mshuma Oh. Uh-huh. 
Baba Poleo Popo Te Dunia Ni Venye Kumwamini Kristo Wanatengo na maovu ya dunia Nagiza la dhambi Wanarudishu anayene Nakushirikishwa utakat Tifu Udia usiku Haba o Kristu alikata minyo lolo Ya mauti Akatoka kuzimu ameshinda Kwa mana kuzaliwa kugali tufa kitu Tusigali kombolewa Wow. 
fu ku za chu ki wa le ta u mo ja wa mi yo yo na ku zi nye nye ke sha do la ba si e ba ba mo e ma Ko jiri ane ma ya usiku Upoke sadaka iya jioni Sadaka iya jioni ya kukusifu Ni sanda kali na yokutolea kanisa takatifu Kwa mikono ya watu mishi wake katika ibada ku Ya uom shuma wa Tegenezwa kwa kazi ya nyuki Na sasa tunafamu sifa za guzo hii Ili owashwa kwa heshima ya mungu Kwa moto huu moto wa umega wa nyika au kupunguka kwa kuwasha mioto mingine kwa maana walishwa kwa ntaina Kuzimu Akawanga 
za wanadamu kwa nuru yake angavu na ye anaishi na kutawala daima na milele My dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Mother Church called upon her sons and daughters, scattered throughout the world, to come together So that now we may begin our solemn vigil, we are invited to listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people and in these last days has sent us his son as our redeemer. Let us pray that our God may continue to complete this Paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. The one who is taking the first reading. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. The earth was without form and void. The darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God was moving over the faces of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light, and God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning, one day. And God said, Let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters, 
and let it separate the waters from the waters. And God made the firmament and separated the waters which were under the firmament from the waters which were above the firmament. And it was so good. And God called the firmament heaven. And there was evening and there was morning, a second day. And God said, Let the water under the heavens be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. And God said, let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees bearing fruit, in which is their seed, each according to its kind upon the earth. And it was so. And the earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, according to their own kinds and the trees bearing fruit in which is their seed each according to it is fine and god saw that it was good and there was evening and there was morning a third day and god said let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to separate the day from the night and let them be for signs and for season and for days and years and let them be lights in the firmament of heavens to give light upon the earth and it was so and God made the two great lights the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. He made the star also. And God set them in the firmament of the heavens to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was morning, a fourth day and God said let the waters bring forth swarms of living creatures and let birds fly above the earth across the firmament of heaven so God created the great sea monsters and every living creature that moves with which the waters swarm according to their kinds and every winged bird according to its kind. And God saw that it was good. And God blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the waters in the seas, and let the birds multiply on the earth. And there was evening, and there was morning, a fifth day. And God said, Let the earth bring forth living creatures according to their kinds, cattle and creeping things, and beasts of the earth according to their kinds. And it was so. And God made the beasts of the earth according to their kinds, and the cattle according to their kinds, and everything that creeps upon the ground according to it is kind and God saw that it was good then God said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps upon the earth. So God created man in his 
own image, in the image of God, he created him. Man and female, he created them, and God blessed them, and God said to them, Be fruitful and multiply, and fill the earth and subdue it, and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the earth. And God said, Behold, I have given you every plant yielding seed which is upon the face of the, all the earth, and every tree with seed in its fruit. You shall have them for food, and, and to every beast of the earth, and to every bird of the air, and to everything that creeps on the earth, everything that has the breath of life, I have given every green plant for food, and it was so. And God saw everything that he had made, and behold, it was very good. And there was evening, and there was morning, a sixth day. Thus the heavens and the earth were finished, and all the host of them. And on the seventh day, God finished his work, which he had done, and he rested on the seventh day for all his work which he had done. The Word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. from 
the mountains. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the You make spring gush forth in the valleys. They flow They sing their song. Lord, says for your spirit, and renew the face of the From your dwelling, you water the hills. He may bring forth bread from the earth. Lord, send forth your spirit and renew the face of the earth. How many Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who are wonderful in ordering all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvelous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that at the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, who lives and lives forever and ever. katika kitabu cha mwanzo siku zile Mungu alimjaribu Abrahamu akamwambia Abrahamu naye akaitika mimi hapa Mungu akasema umtoe mwanao Isaka mwanao wa pekee umpendae waende katika nchi ya Moria na huko utamtoa sadaka ya kuteketezwa juu ya mlima nitakayo kuonyesha Abrahamu akaamka asubuhi mapema akatandika punda wake akawachukua wawili kati ya watumishi wake na mwanawe Isaka akapasua kuni za sadaka 
akaondoka kwenda mahali pale alipoambiwa na Mungu Siku ya tatu Abrahamu akainua macho akaona mahali pale kwa mbali Abrahamu akawaambia watumishi wake Ngonjini hapa na punda Mimi na mwanangu tutakwenda mpaka kule tutaabudu na kurudi kwenu Abrahamu akatoa kuni za sadaka akamtwika Isaka mwanai. Yeye mwenyewe akachukua moto na kisu mkononi wakaenda wote wawili pamoja. Isaka akamwambia baba yake, "Babangu," akajibu, "Kuna nini mwanangu?" Isaka akaongeza, "Tazama, tunao moto na kuni." Lakini yuko wapi mwana kondoo wa sadaka? Abrahamu akajibu. Mungu atachupatia mwana kondoo wa sadaka mwanangu. Nao wakaendelea wote wawili pamoja. Walipofika mahali pale alipoambiwa na Mungu, Abrahamu akajenga hapo altari, akapanga kuni. Kisha akamfunga mwanawe Isaka akamweka juu ya altari juu ya kuni zile Abrahamu akanyosha mkono akashika kisu amchinje mwanawe Lakini malaika wa Bwana akamwita toka binguni akasema Abrahamu Abrahamu naye akaitika mimi hapa Malaika akasema Usimnyoshe mtoto mkono wako usimtende neno lolote Sasa najua ya kuwa unamheshimu Mungu Huku nikatalia mwanao mwanao wa pekee Abrahamu akainua macho akaona kondoo dume amenaswa kichakani kwa pembe zake Abrahamu akaenda akamchukua kondo akamtoa sadaka ya kuteketezwa badala ya mwanawe Mahali pale Abrahamu akapaita jina lake Yawe Yere kama isemavyo hata leo juu ya mlima Bwana atajalia Malaika wa Bwana akamuita Abrahamu mara ya pili toka binguni akasema Na hapa kwa nafsi yangu asema Bwana kwa kuwa umefanya jambo hilo wala ukunikatalia mwanao mwanao wa pekee mimi nitakujaza baraka nitaufanya uzao wako kuwa mwingi kama nyota za binguni na kama mchanga ulioko pwani ya bahari Tena uzao wako utashinda mlango wa maadui wake. Katika uzao wako mataifa yote ya dunia yatajipatia baraka kwa sababu umetii sauti yangu. Neno la Bwana. Unilinde e Mungu kwa maana na kimbilia kwako. Unilinde e Mungu kwa maana na kimbilia kwako. Kwa 
ai kwa kulia kwangu sitatikisi ka Third reading. A reading from the book of Exodus. In those days, the Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me? Tell the sons of Israel to go forward. Lift up your rod and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it, that the sons of Israel may go on dry ground the sea, and I will harden the hearts of the Egyptians so that they shall go in after them, and I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his hosts, his chariots and his horsemen. And the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord when I have gotten glory over Pharaoh, his chariots, and his horsemen. Then the angel of God who went before the host of Israel moved and went behind them. And the pillar of cloud moved from there before them and stood behind them coming between the host of Egypt and the host of Israel. And there was the cloud and the darkness, and the night passed without one coming near the other all night. Then Moses stretched out his hand 
over the sea, and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong cast wind all night, and made the sea and the water. of the sea on dry ground and waters being a wall to them on their right hand and on their left and went in after them into the midst of the sea all Pharaoh's horses his chariots and his horsemen and in the morning Watch the Lord in the pillar of fire and of cloud looked down upon the host of the Egyptians and discomfited the host of the Egyptians, clothing their chariots' wheels so that they drove heavily and the Egyptians said, Let us flee from before Israel, for the Lord fights for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord said to Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may come back upon the Egyptians, upon their chariots, and upon their horsemen. So Moses stretched forth his hand over the sea, and the sea returned to its usual flow when the morning appeared. And the Egyptians fled into it, and the Lord rooted the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. The waters returned and covered the chariots and the horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that had followed them into the sea, not so much as one of them remained. But the sons of Israel walked on dry ground through the sea, and the waters being a wall of to them on their right hand and on their left hand. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the hand of the Egyptians, and the Lord saw the Egyptians dead upon the seashore. And Israel saw the great work which the Lord did against the Egyptians. And the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in, the, in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the sons of Israel sang this song to the Lord, saying, I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. I will 
Let us pray. O God, whose ancient wonders remain undimmed in the splendor even in our day, for what you once bestowed on a single people, freeing them from flowers persecution, by the power of your light heart, now you bring about as the salvation of the nations through the waters of rebirth, grant we pray that the whole world may become children of Abraham and inherit the dignity of Israel birth light through Christ our Lord. Somo katika kitabu cha nabii Isaya Muumba wako ni mume wako Jina lake bwana wa majeshi Naye mkombozi wako ni mtakatifu wa Israeli Anayeitwa Mungu wa dunia nzima Kama mke aliyeachwa mwenye huzuni rohoni Hivyo bwana amekuita urudi mke wa ujana awezaje kutupwa asema Mungu wako nilikwacha kitambo kidogo lakini nitakukusanya kwa huruma nyingi katika hasira kubwa sana kwa muda nilikuficha uso wangu lakini kwa fadhili za milele nitakuonea huruma asema bwana mkombozi wako 
kwangu mimi itakuwa kama siku za Nuhu nilipo hapa kwamba maji ya Nuhu hayatafunika dunia mara nyingine vivyo hivyo nina hapa kwamba sitakukasirikia tena wala sitakukemea tena kweli milima yaweza kutoweka na vilima kuondolewa lakini upendo wangu hautaondoka kwako wala agano langu la amani halitatisikika asema bwana anayekuhurumia ewe uliyepata pigo kali urushwae na kufutani asiyefarijiwa nitaweka mawe yako juu ya akiki na misingi yako kwa yakuti samawi nitaifanya minara yako ya akiki iwe nyekundu kwako na milango yako ya almasi na ukuta wa mipaka yako ya johari wana wako wote watafundishwa na bwana amani ya wana wako itakuwa heri kubwa utasimikwa juu ya haki mbali na jeuri maana utaogopa tena mbali na tishio yani halitakukaribia tena neno la bwana Na kutukuza e Bwana kwa kuwa umeniokoa. Na kutukuza e Bwana kwa kuwa umeniokoa. Na kutukuza e Bwana kwa kuwa
milele sidishe kwa heshima ya jina lako yale uliyowaahidia mababu wa imani uongeze idadi ya watoto wa ahadi kwa neema ya kufanywa wana ili hayo ambao watakatifu wa kale waliamini bila kusita kwamba yatatokea sasa kanisa lione atimia kwa sehemu kubwa Tunaomba hayo kwa jina ya Kristu Bwana wetu. Fifth reading, a reading from the book of prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Ho everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come, buy and eat. Come, buy wine and milk, without money and without price. Why do you spend money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which is not satisfy? Listen diligently to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves with rich food. Incline your ear and come to me, hear that your soul may live, and I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast merciful love for David. Behold, I made him a witness of the peoples, a leader and commander of, for the peoples. Behold, you shall call nations that you know not because of the Lord your God and the Holy One of Israel 
for he has glorified you. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have mercy on him. And our God, for he will abundantly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For us, for as the heavens and higher than the earth, so are my so are so are my ways higher than yours, and my thoughts than yours. For as the rain and snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water of the earth, making it bring forth and sprout, giving seed to the sour and bread to the eater, so shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I intend and prosper in the thing which I sent it, the word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm Response With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. With joy, you will draw water from the wells of salvation. and will not be afraid for the Lord God is my strength and my song and he has become my salvation with joy you will draw water from the from the wells of salvation with joy Give thanks to the Lord, 
call upon his name and make known his deeds among the nations proclaim that his name is exalted with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation with joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation sing praises to the lord for he has done gloriously let this be known in all the earth shout and sing for joy O inhabitant of Zion for the great for great in your midst is the holy one of Israel with joy you will draw water from the wells of Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unfilled the mysteries of this present age, graciously increase the longing of your people. For only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Somo katika kitabu cha nabii Baruku Sikiliza e Israeli amri za uzima tega sikio lako upate busara Imekuwaje Israeli uko katika nchi ya adui zako na ukizeeka katika nchi ya kigeni umetiwa na jisi na wafu umehesabiwa nao washukao shimoni ni kwa sababu umeacha chemichemi ya hekima kama ungalifuata njia ya Mungu ungalikaa kwa amani siku zote itafute hekima ilipo na nguvu na maarifa ili ujue ulipo wingi wa siku na uzima ilipo nuru ya macho na amani ni nani aliyeona mahali pa hekima na kuingia katika gala zake lakini yule ajuae yote ajua njia ya ufahamu wake alitambua kwa ufalme wake yeye ameweka dunia milele na kuijaza wanyama wenye miguu minne yeye aitumae nuru ikaenda ikamti kwa hofu nyota zinangara na kukesha usiku zikiwa na furaha mbele yake yeye anaziita nazo zinaitika tupo hapa zinangara kwa furaha kwa ajili ya muumba wake yeye ndiye Mungu wetu wala hakuna mwingine anayefanana naye amevumbua njia zote za hekima akampatia Yakobo mtumishi wake na Israeli mpendwa wake naye hekima akaonekana duniani akakaa kati ya watu hekima ndiye kitabu cha amri za Mungu na sheria inayodumu milele wote wenye kumshika watapewa uzima lakini wenye kumwacha 
watakufa. Rudi, e Yakobo, ukamshike. Katika ungaro wake, uembe nuru yake. Usimpe mwingine utukufu wako. Wala taifa la kigeni mafaa yako. Tunaheri sisi, e Israeli. Maana tumefumbuliwa mambo yanayompendeza mungu. Neno la buwana. Zaburi ya kuitikizana Kiitikio Bwana wewe una maneno ya uzima wa milele Bwana wewe una maneno ya uzima wa milele Bwana wewe una Maneno ya uzima, ya uzima wa milele Bwana wewe una maneno ya uzima, ya Thank you. 
ni kweli zote ni za haki haki kamili wana wewe una maneno ya uzima ya Nalikuza daima kanisa lako kwa kuwaita mataifa wajalie hao wanaotakazwa kwa maji ya ubatizo watunzwe siku zote kwa ulinzi wako tunaomba hayo kwa jia ya Kristu bwana wetu Seventh reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man. When the house of Israel dwelt in their own land, they defiled it by their ways and their doings. So I poured out my wrath upon them for the blood which they had shed in the land, for the idols with which they had defiled it. I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed through the countries. In accordance with their conduct and their deeds, I judged them. But when they came to the nations, wherever they came, they profaned my holy name in that men said of them. These are the people of the Lord, and yet they had to go out of his land. But I had concern for my holy name, which the house of Israel caused to be profaned among the nations to which they came. Therefore, say to the house of Israel, Thus says the Lord God, It is not for your sake, O house of Israel, that I am about to act, but for the sake of my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations to which you came. And I will vindicate the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, and which you have profaned among them. And the nations will know that I am the Lord, says the Lord God, 
when through you I vindicate my holiness before their eyes. For I will take you from the nations and gather you from all the countries and bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water upon you and you shall be clean from all your uncleanness and from all your idols I will cleanse you. A new heart I will give you and a new spirit I will put within you. And I will take out of your flesh the heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh. And I will put my spirit within you and cause you to walk in my statutes. And be careful to observe my ordinances. You shall dwell in the land with which I gave to your fathers and you shall be my people and I will be your God. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the deer that yearns for running streams, so my soul is yearning for you, my God. Like the Oh, my soul is yearning 
unchanging power and eternal light. Look with favor on the wondrous mystery of the whole church and serenely accomplish the work of human salvation which you plan for more eternity. May the whole world know and see that what was cast down is raised up, what had become old is made new, and all things restored to integrity through Christ just as by him there came into being, who lives and lives forever and ever. Oh, oh, oh. 
God, who make this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind, we may lead uh, you and divided service through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. somo katika barua ya mtakatifu Paulo kwa Warumi Ndugu zangu hamjui kwamba sisi zote tuliobatizwa katika Kristu Yesu tumebatizwa kushiriki kifo chake basi kwa njia ya ubatizo katika kifo tumezikwa pamoja naye ili kama Kristo alivyo fufuliwa katika wafu kwa kumtukuza baba nasi tuishi maisha mpya maana yake kama tumeunganika naye katika usawa wa kufa kwake tutaunganika naye pia katika usawa wa kufufuka kwake twajua haya Utu wetu wa zamani umesulubiwa pamoja na Kristu ili mwili wa dhambi uangamie tusije tukautumikia tena dhambi maana dhambi haimwezi mtu aliyekwisha kufa ikiwa tumekufa pamoja na Kristu twasandiki kwamba tutaishi pamoja naye Tuajua ya kuwa baada ya kufufuka katika wafu Kristu hafi tena mauti aimwezi tena kwa maana kwa kufa kwake aliifia dhambi mara moja lakini kuishi anaishi kwa ajili ya Mungu ninyi pia mjione kama watu waliofia dhambi na kuishi kwa ajili ya Mungu katika Kristu Yesu Bwana wetu neno la Bwana Tusimame Alleluia
the responsorial psalm. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Somola ijiri takatifu, 
Baada ya sabato kulipo pabazuka siku ya kwanza ya juma Maria Magdalena na Maria mwingine walikwenda kulitazama kaburi mala tetemeko kumbwa la nchi likatukia na maana malaika wa Bwana walishuka kutoka binguni akaenda kulivingirisha jiwe upande akalikalia sula yake ilikuwa kama umeme na vazi lake jeupe kama theluji walinzi wakatetemeka na kumuogopa wakawa kama wafu malaika akawaabia wanawake ninyi msiogope najua mnatafuta Yesu aliyesulubiwa hayupo hapa maana amefufuka kama alivyosema Joni patazameni mahali alipolazwa haya nendeni upesi mkawaabie wafuasi wake amefufuka katika wafu anawatangulia kwenda Galilaya huko mtamuona hiyo ndio habari yangu kwenu wakatoka upesi kwenye kabuli kwa hofu na furaha nyingi wakapiga bio wakapasha wafuasi wake habari mara Yesu akasimama mbele yao akiwasalimia nao wakamkaribia wakamshika miguu wakamwabudu kisha Yesu akawaabia msiogope Nedeni mkawabie dugu zangu waende Galilaya huko wataniona Ijili ya Bwana God is good. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you tired? No. Umechoka? Kwa yeah. sababu ya masomo. <laughs> Najua mjachoka. I know we were all alert listen to the word of God. This indeed is a great night for all of us. As we heard from the very beginning this vigil is the mother of all vigil this night is the mother of all night and is known as the mother of all holy vigil the greatest time and the greatest moment in the liturgical in our liturgical calendar we have reached the apex the climax of what we believe yesterday was indeed a sad day we saw even as we undertook the way of the cross and our young people dramatized so well the passion of our lord jesus christ the agony and the pain that were associated with that way of the cross but as we come here after 40 days again we are able to sing the hallelujah and to say glory to the lord and intone that song of the angels praising our god 
indeed this one is the night of victory the night of liberation the night of freedom is the night of our healing as we have heard from what deacon told for us the bill ya pasaka the exultant this is the night when the pillar of fire destroyed the darkness of sin this is a night for us christians and christian everywhere are washed clean of the sin we are freed from all defilement and we are restored to the life of grace to the original state and we are invited therefore to grow together in holiness this is the night as we have heard when jesus christ broke all the chains of death and rose again to our country from the grave we have listened to those wonderful readings which summarized for us our story of salvation starting from the book of genesis listening to the creation narrative how god created and what he intended and why he created in the medieval times and in the middle ages indeed one of the questions that bothered the philosophers the theologians and even the atheists was the simple question and which i also need to ask to you what do you think god was doing before he created before everything that we have heard in the book of genesis how god created everything ex nihilo out of nothing god created before that what was god doing takaye nijibu niko na zawadi ama niulize the catechumens eh wakishindwa diko ndio alikuwa anawafundisha yeye ndiye atajibu si tukishindwa tunaenda kwa mwalimu sasa niambieni what do you think every any answer that you give will be right eh ani unasema nini eh siski at study alikuwa anasoma planning did you go need to plan anything planning what how to put your nose where it's supposed to be <laughs> eh did god require that if you say planning then you are limiting god what was god doing anyway bora ali from one of the of the philosopher and theologian god don scotus he said before god created god was loving himself mungu alikuwa anapenda because god is love and all the time god is love ni upendo and that's why we have heard from that creation narrative and even in the second reading from the book of genesis also about the call of abraham the father of faith when god was doing this what prepared him is love because he wanted to share his love with creation and with all of us and out of love god created the universe the seen and the unseen and he created on the sixth day he created us before he rested and we are told we are created in the perfect image and likeness of god we are created imago dei in that image of god out of love that he has for us at that time sin had no praise what god created was perfect sin is always said to be a defilement 
and wickedness abhorrent of God and those who sin therefore are separated from love of God sin always create this harmony in the creation in what God created and said was good and as we gather here even night this night is beautiful and is good many a times we associate night with all that is evil people are killed at night Koinage Street can never be active when we are carrying the cross but during the night things turn otherwise those who have the vocations of being night runners they are active at night and so on but let us not forget that we have heard from this creation narrative that all that God created even day and night were all good he never created any sin. Sin is said to be absence of good. And that love now propels God in this journey of salvation to create out of one person a nation. He called Abraham. Abraham heeded the call of God Despite not having a prior encounter with God, he heeded to the call of God. He heard the language of God, which is about love and humility. If we want to understand the language of God, we must be ready to embrace his love. And above all, be humble enough. The one etymologically come from the word humans and humans is a type of soil a humble person is always down there on the ground and this is the person who can now understand this language of God which is love Abraham is called God enter into a pact with Abraham he is to become the father of a great nation and to become a father of so many but that took time and even when he was given a son God is telling him go and sacrifice for me and Abraham again obeys with a lot of humility he obeys and when he went to Mount Moriah ready to sacrifice said what happened God in his providence provide and that's the true nature of God that in every situation God always provide and Abraham said and called the praise Jehovah Jireh because God provided for him and just like he was very obedient out of love for his God we see now this story of salvation coming to the climax with God offering his own son almost at the same place according to the biblical scholar Mount Moriah is almost a, is where Calvary is though the modern days perhaps is the third holiest place for the Muslims out of that this is where Jesus suffered and was sacrificed. Abraham demonstrated his love, reciprocated God's love with a lot of humility and obedience. Now, my brothers and sisters, I have said this is a more theological and symbolic representation from what we heard of that sacrifice of Abraham about obedience and Christ fulfilling that promise the third reading was from the book of Exodus 
the nation that God is creating out of one man find itself in slavery, in the land of bondage. The Israelites found themselves in Egypt. Egypt represents in a bondage of sin, in a slavery of sin. When we live in the state of sin, when we cling to our own sins, then we become slaves. And what does sin do to us? Sin impedes our growth. Sin makes us to stagnate. Sin makes us or deny us peace that we are supposed to have. Despite this, when they cry to God, God heard their cry, and the same love propelled him to go and seek his children, send Moses to go and redeem them. And they had to pass through the waters of the Red Sea that signifies also the altar of our own baptism. And therefore, in the same way, because God has led us through the water of baptism, just is going to happen even for our brothers and sisters who are going to be baptized in this great night. God brings new life to us through baptism and frees us from our sins just like he did to the Israelites. The suffering of our Lord Jesus, which we witnessed yesterday, his death on the cross, and what we celebrate this night remind us what we are supposed to be. The rest of the readings that we have heard this evening the affirms Father the love God has for his people and how in his providence he always provides for us. He gives us salvation and gives us the life of grace. All of this is what God promised long time ago. And because it's God who keeps his words, we see this reaching the climax with our Lord Jesus Christ who is dying or died for us so that we may have life and now have it abundantly. In the Gospel of John, we are reminded therefore God loved all of us that at that time when he deemed his light, he sent his only begotten son to come and save us. I invite you to remind one another and all of us the beautiful gospel that we have just led and listened to. This is the gospel this year. It's from the gospel of Matthew. It's an account of finding the empty tomb by the women. Of the four evangelists, it's only Matthew who is very carded and highlights the drama of that night about the earth shattering moment. He alone tells us when women went to the tomb and there were some violent earthquakes during which the angel came down from heaven and talked to these women. And they never dared to look at that angel as such because he was like lightning and his robes were more whiter than snow. This is how the evangelists describe this moment. And the angel of the Lord greeted the women. We can imagine 
the position and the situation of these women that night or that morning. Like many of us, they have witnessed the drama of suffering, the unexpected tragedy that befell their master. And perhaps they were wondering, what happened to the Lord? Is it going to happen to us? And one of the questions that was dilemma to them when they were coming to annoy the body of our Lord, they kept, according to the other evangelists, they were asking, who is going to roll that big stone for us? Who is going to roll that stone for us? Yesterday we heard during the Passion narrative or narrations that after they buried Jesus, according to the custom of that day or that time, they rolled a very big stone at the tomb of Jesus. For the Pharisees, and the scribes and the elders of the people and the high priest they were doing that not because it was custom of the day they were doing that because they wanted to make sure they had conspired that jesus who had prophesied about his resurrection is never going to resurrect they wanted him to remain in that tomb forever we know even in human phrase, our other life ends with death. But not so for Jesus. The Pharisees thought it so, and that was the end of the Lord. They wanted him to remain in that tomb. That's why we normally sing. Wali pomu wa Yesu wali dhani wa meshinda Injili ya enda bele Wali pom tema mate wali dhani wa meshinda So for them the thought is victory and the victory have been served on their side And I think that should teach us something. In this life too, there are people who we encounter. There are even situations that we face. There are people who will conspire to make sure you remain in the same situation in which you find yourself. Do you remember when Jesus went to Jericho on his way to Jerusalem, there was this bride man called Bartimaeus. He was not only a bride, but he was a poor man. And he heard that Jesus is passing by. And he started shouting, calling Jesus with his messianic name, son of David, have mercy on me. The crowd turned against him. And they were telling him, shut up. But the more they told him to shut up the more he shouted to Jesus until his cry could reach to Jesus. Why were they telling him to shut up? Because that is the nature of some of us. We want to make sure other people remain in their tomb, that they do not progress. There are even situations that you'll face sometime in the face of sickness and you will hear even your friends telling you or you hear them gossiping we don't know whether he's going to make it. We feel this is the end for him or for her. It is not always good to listen to such negative voices. Because the last word always belongs to God. No matter what you might face, no matter what you may be undergoing, the story of Jesus, the resurrection of our Lord, Remind us that the last word always belongs to God. I never listen to naysayers and the other negative voices remind you, perhaps we always like to condemn you. 
to your family because they know your background. They know your mother, they know your father, they know your brothers and sisters. They want you to remain in that situation. They will not give you hope that tomorrow you may be better, you are going to recover. During lunch time, Brother, one of the priests was telling me of this story. We are sharing about the same. And he gave me the story. Yeah, Mosquito. All of you, you know Mosquito. He told me, once upon a time, which I don't know when, but there were some mosquitoes. And the mother of these young mosquitoes was so happy that she has given birth to some beautiful mosquitoes. And one of the mosquitoes decided to go for excursion and discover the world. Na alipo enda alikuwa nasikia na kutana na wanadamu, anapigiwa makofi, anasikia watu, anachapa makofi, and ilikuwa imefurahi sana. Ikakuja ikawabia mamake, hey, the day was good. I encountered a lot of people, they were so good to me, everywhere I passed. They were clapping for me. The mother looked at, the, at, at the, the young mosquito and told him, stupid young mosquito, they wanted to kill you. Si kwamba walikuwa na kupigia makofi, wanalikuwa nataka ku, kukuwa. So it's always good also to take care of your friends. When they tell you to end the bar, Anataka kukunulea pombe pengine ukufi anyakue kile uko nacho not all of them that have good intentions ama anajua kuna proti mko nao na mahali na hujaadikisha nani atachukua yes. si yeah. not all of your friends who tells you kuwa na mpango mwingine is the same mpango gani lakini kuwa na mpango mwingine scrutinize what they are telling you Then we come back to the readings. These women now, they realize the stone is already rolled, and the angel of the Lord told them, He is no longer here, He is not in this stone, because He was not meant to be in that place. And therefore they were seeking Jesus in the long place. And he told them, go and tell the disciples of his to go to Galilee and there they will encounter him. And even himself, the Lord will tell the women, go and tell my brothers to go and look for me to encounter me and meet me in Galilee. Why was it important even for the evangelist here, Matthew, to put those words that they have to go north of Israel in Galilee and they encounter Jesus? That is where their journey started. Almost 65 to 70 percent of the miracles that our Lord performed, He performed them around the Galilean territory. He called them when they were fishermen at the Sea of Galilee. He gave them a new call. Therefore, they were told to go back to where it all started. He's reminding them He cannot be found in the tomb, in the place of the dead. Where are you seeking your Christ? Where are you seeking God? You are always reminded, go back to your Galilee. Even when things are not working in your marriage, go back to where you started. That is your Galilee. When you are faithful and when you are very loving, when you are, have laxity, in your faith, Jesus will always challenge you to go to Galilee. When you were so keen, 
during the catechism classes, you are very obedient, faithful to the sacrament of the church, that is your Galilee. Go back to Galilee. This is where you'll get your consolation in your family when you become a loving father, a loving mother. That is your Galilee. We will never find Jesus in the tomb. Tomb here represents anything that we as human beings we want to redefine. At this age, when we want to redefine what is marriage, at this age, when we want to say these people, LGBTQ+, they have their right, these are human rights. How can you claim a right to be sick and you say it's a human right? And yes, you want to fight God there. He's saying, go back to Galilee where it all started. This is the invitation that Jesus is making to all of us. Even when things are not working, they are not going to be better because you visit a witch doctor and so on. They are going to be better because you attach yourself to Christ. We are Easter people. We are people of hope. And Jesus is teaching us in all this that is bringing hope. He's giving hope to all our situations. As I conclude now, I want to talk to our brothers and sisters who this evening are going to receive the sacrament of Christian initiation. I want to thank you and to congratulate you for the journey you have made, for the perseverance that you have shown. You have journeyed, you have listened to all the teachings Attending all the classes, being faithful to what you have been doing. And today, that journey is coming to a stop, so that now you can enter to another stage of Mr. Gorgia, the ongoing formation. This is not the end of your catechism. This is not the end of your formation. When you started, and even now, you are people full of faith. And you have been taught about the faith of the church, the faith we are celebrating. That's a gift from God. It's not the gift from the deacons or Father Kamumoy who was journeying or who are journeying with you. It's a gift from God himself. Today, or this evening, rather, you are going to make a covenant with your God. This is not a formality that we are going to baptize you. But you stand before God and make a covenant. How we pray that you remain faithful to that covenant. Because that is a covenant you are making with God. All the explanatory rites some of which have been done and others are going to be done this evening, reminds you of what you have become and you will become a new creature. Learn to attach yourself to God. And when you attach yourself to God, life becomes easier. Despite the crosses that you might encounter with God, then life becomes easier. Let there be no moment of turning back. Even in the business of the crosses, pray the main focus on Christ. He's the one who has called you. And just like he told these women, do not be afraid. Have courage. Have courage now to become witnesses of Christ. And you shall be his witness wherever you will be. Let this not be the head. Become a strong Jumuya and through your faith become a challenge to us that you came, you were taught, you have conquered together with Christ and now you are ready to become witnesses. Now, I'm a Rizia Kohadidhi. Siku moja kulikuwa na 
na some farmers na walikuwa wanapanda mizabibu na wanapoipanda wakati inakomaa is ready to be harvested one of the greatest threats that they faced is that some monkeys used to come and destroy the grapes so what the villagers decided their boys will no longer be going to school kazi yao during that time when the grapes are ripening watakuwa wanachunga hao monkeys as a vijana wakaenda siku ya kwanza ya pili na ya tatu the monkeys never came the that day they decided to play the football the monkey came and stole wakaharibu so the boys got a lot of beating this that evening and it was a good lesson for them the following day so they decided hatutafanya mabaya tutagojea hawa kwa sababu tulichapwa na sisi tutawaonyesha so the monkeys walikuwa kwa miti wanawaona lakini vijana wakaona hawa hawatakuja they decided now to go for swimming in the nearby river walipoenda nao nyani wakaingia and the boys came wakiwa wamenyemelea lakini hawakushika unfortunately there was an old old manke haikuweza kupotea wengine wakipotea when the gang is running away huyu mmoja akaachwa and the boys now decided eh afadhali huyu mmoja na atakuwa funzo kwa kwa wengine vile walimshika wakamchapa mpaka akasirahi and one boy came with a very good idea si anatumia hii meno kuharibu the grapes si tumungoe hii meno yote alafu tumwachilie and that was the verdict all the boys agreed wakamngoa akasirahi wakadhani amekufa wakamwacha akufe but the moment this man realized the boys are gone to dash forth and join the rest of the gang and the guns wakamuliza ilikuaje then he started explaining at the end of the day wakamuliza umeokoka aji and we thought you are already akamwambia mimi sio kuokoka akafungua mdomo wote akaonyesha meno sio kuokoka hata kungolewa nimefanya nini so my dear katakiume msiokoke tu hata mngolewa kwa mambo mabaya yote jina la baba na mwana na roho mtakatifu those who are to receive the sacrament of baptism to come forward and let them be joined by their sponsors please come forward Dear friends, let us pray to Almighty God for our brothers and sisters who are asking for baptism. He has called them and brought them to this moment. May he grant them light and strength to follow Christ with resolute heart and to profess the faith of the church. May he give them the new life of the Holy Spirit. 
whom we are about to call down on this water. Let us all be upstanding, all of us, and we have the litany of the saints. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Saint Michael, Holy Angels of God, Saint John the Baptist, Saint Joseph, Saint Peter and Paul, Saint Andrew, Saint John, Saint Mary Magdalene, Saint Stephen, Saint Ignatius, Saint Lawrence, Saint Perpetua and Feriste, Saint Agnes, Saint Gregory, Saint Basil, Saint Martin, Saint Benedict, Saint Francis and Saint Dominic, Saint Francis Xavier, Saint John Vianney, Saint Catherine of Siena, Saint Teresa, Saint John Paul II, Saint John XXIII, Blessed Irene Nyatha, all who remain and women, Lord be merciful, from all evil, from every sin, from the coming, by your coming as a man, by your death and rising to a new life, by your gift of the Holy Spirit, be merciful to us sinners, give new life to these chosen ones by the grace of baptism, Prayer. Jesus, Son of the Living God, Christ, hear us. Lord Jesus, hear our prayer. Father, you gave us grace through sacramental signs, which tell us of the wonders of your unseen power. In baptism, we use your gift of water, which you have made a rich symbol of the grace you gave us in this sacrament. At the very dawn of creation, your spirit breathed on the waters, making them wellspring of all holiness. The waters of the great flood, you made a sign of the waters of baptism and make an aid of sin and a new beginning of goodness. Through the waters of Red Sea, you led Israel out of slavery to be an image of God's holy people, set free from sin by baptism. In waters of Jordan, your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Spirit. Your son willed that water and blood should flow from his side as he hung upon the cross. After his resurrection, he told his disciples, go out and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Father, Look now with love upon your church and unseal for it the fountain of baptism. By the power of the Holy Spirit, give this water the grace of your Son so that the sacrament of baptism, all those whom you have created in your likeness, may be cleansed from sin and rise to a new birth of innocence by water and Holy Spirit.
May the power of the Holy Spirit, O Lord, we pray, come down through your Son into the fullness of this fold, so that all who have been buried with Christ by baptism into death may rise again to life with him, who lives and lays with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Spring of water, bless the Lord, praise and exalt him above all forever. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, you are now going to profess your faith, you renounce Satan, who is the father of all sins. Do you renounce Satan? Yes, you say, I do. The rest may be seated. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? Say, I do. Do you reject the grammar of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? I do. Do you reject Satan, father of sin and the prince of darkness? I do. Do you reject Satan and all his works and all his empty promises. I, do. I can't hear you. I do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary? was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead, and is now seated on the right hand of the Father. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, and the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting? I do. Now because you have demonstrated your willingness in total freedom. We are now going to baptize you. Like Deacon had arranged you, you come one by one with your Godfather to receive the sacrament of baptism. I baptize you, Dan, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Then I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.
Michael, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Shalom, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Stephen, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Michael, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Emily, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Rosalind, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Faith, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Vivian, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Juliet, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Priscilla, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Corinth, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Wesley, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Christine, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Gladys, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Yvonne, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mary, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christopher, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Eliud, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Franklin, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Benson. Benson, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
Dockers, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Juliet, I baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Cecilia, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lucia, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Mary, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Deborah, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lecho, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Nancy, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Charity, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Virginia, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Esther, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lona, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Lucia, Amna, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Edna, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Charles, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Dennis, I baptize you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Security.
the God of power and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin and brought you to new life through water and the Holy Spirit. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation so that united with his people, you may remain forever a member of Christ who is priest, prophet, and king. You respond and say, Amen. Amen. The God parent was. My dear brothers and sisters, you have become a new creation and have clothed yourself in Christ. Receive this baptismal garment and bring it unstained to the judgment seat of our Lord Jesus Christ so that you may have everlasting life. As Paul and say, Amen.
Now, dear godparents, please come forward to give to the newly baptized the right of Christ. Come with and take the candle. You have been enlightened by Christ. Walk always as children of light and keep the frame of faith alive in your heart. When the Lord comes, may you go out to meet him with all the saints in the heavenly kingdom. We say amen. That's our confirmation. Dio Watabaki, we're to get Sacrament of baptism, come for. I mean, the sacrament of confirmation, come forward. Join the other brothers and sisters. And give them to your godparents. My dear newly baptized, born again in Christ by baptism, you have become members of Christ and of his priestly life, people. Now you are to share in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit among us 
the Spirit sent by the Lord upon his apostles at Pentecost and given by them and their successor to the baptized. The promise, strength of the Holy Spirit which you are to receive will make you more like Christ and help you to be witnesses to his suffering, death and resurrection. It will strengthen you to be active members of the church and to build up the body of Christ in faith and love. My dear friends, let us pray to God our Father that he will pour out the Holy Spirit on these newly baptized and strengthen them with the gifts and anoint them to be more like Christ the Son of God. We pray in silence. The priest, we extend our hands. O oh, powerful God, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, by water and the Holy Spirit, you freed your sons and daughters from sin and give them new life. Send your Holy Spirit upon them to be their helper and guide. Give them the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of light judgment and courage, the spirit of knowledge and reverence. Fill them with the spirit of wonder and woe in your presence. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Those who are not now united with the Christian, we are going to anoint you. Holy Spirit, peace be with you. Caroline, be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Grace, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mark, be sealed with the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Where are your godparents? The godparents. Why is the Patrick, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Basil. Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Emily, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Samuel, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you.
Uwekelee mikono the god parents please Dan be saved with the gift of the holy spirit peace be with you Ben be saved with the gift of the holy spirit peace be with you and Let us God and say amen eh? Michael be saved with the gift of the holy spirit peace be with you Sharon, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Stephen, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Michael, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Emily, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Rosalind, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Faith be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Juliet be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Priscilla be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Corinth be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Wesley, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. <coughs> Peace be with you. Gladys, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Yvonne, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Elliot, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Benson, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Franklin, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dorcas, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Juliet, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Cecilia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lucia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Mary, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Deborah, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Let your be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Nancy, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Charity, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Virginia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Esther, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Rona, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Lucia, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Edna, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Charles, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Dennis, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Christopher, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. renew our baptismal promises.
we have been informed we are going to renew our baptismal promises. Do you reject sin so as to live in the freedom of God's children? I do. You say personally, I do. I do. Do you reject the grammar of evil and refuse to be mastered by sin? Do you reject Satan, father of sin and the prince of darkness? I do. do you reject Satan I do. and all his words and all his empty promises? I do. do you believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only begotten Son, our Lord? who was born of the Virgin Mary, was crucified, died and was buried, rose from the dead and is now seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body and the life everlasting? We are now going to bless you with the water that we have just blessed, a reminder of our own baptism. Choir will lead us in the appropriate song. All the priests request you, you can assist.
Let us pray. On this most holy night, let us pray for one mind and heart that the joy of Easter may be shared by all the world. For our church and parent family, that we may become a community of the resurrection, let us pray to the Lord. For Pope our Francis, Adanyor our Bishop, and all who serve the Church, that they may proclaim the good news of the empty tomb. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For the nations and the peoples of the world, that the peace of the risen Christ may reign forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For all who are baptized and welcomed in our Church this night, that they may die to sin and lies, rise to the new life of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For all who serve the poor, the homeless, and the dying, that the God will bless their work with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord graciously hear us. For the sick and the dying, for the suffering and the imprisoned, for the addicted and the abused, that they may be freed from their infirmities and recreated in the life of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord For our deceased brothers and sisters, that they may rise to the new life of the victorious Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord we now seek the intercession of our blessed mother as we say Hail Mary. Full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your own Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Father of life, Father of love, in raising, raising your Son from the grave, all of creation has been reborn. May the life and the love of the Paschal Mystery that we celebrate tonight be a constant and lasting reality in our lives. We ask this through Christ, our risen Lord. Amen. We put off our candles now. We go to the first. And we start with the offertory. Choir, give us the appropriate hymns.
brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people, the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may be may by the working of your power bring us to the healing of eternity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, light and just, our duty and our salvation, at all time to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, shroud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death and by rising, restored our life. And so, overcome with Paschal joy, every lad, every people exhort in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic host, sing together their needing hymn of your glory as they are crying. Merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless this gift, this offering, this holy and unblemished sacrifice, which we offer to you, firstly, for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace, to God, unite and govern her, throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Philip Agnolo, our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, had on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember all your Shh. And all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of, of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. In communion with those 
whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of God and Lord Jesus Christ, and uh, blessed Saint Joseph, our spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon, Jude, Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sictus, Cornelius, Cyprius, Lawrence, Chrysogonus, John and Paul and Cosmas and Damian and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers, in all things we may be defended by your protecting help through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole, whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of, of all their sins, of our days in your peace, and command that we may be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Through Christ our Lord. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread on his holy and venerable hands and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was added, he took the precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he saved the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Passion and the Resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this portrait victim, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly contents to accept them as you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that this gift be borne by the hands of your holy angel, 
to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of your son may be filled with every grace and the heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. servants and who have gone before us with the sigh of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ a place of refreshment, light, and peace. Through Christ our Lord. It was also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant masses, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by a divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on other cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not in temptations, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and lives forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. kuja maungamo na watapokea mara ya kwanza sasa wakaribie watapokea uh, by instruction that means body and blood of Christ simulajijua tulikuwa na nyinyi wale walikuja maungamo kwangu mnajua hao ndio sasa wako tayari
Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, therefore let us keep feast with the unleavened bread of purity and truth. Alleluia. Let us pray. Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal sacrament, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Please let us take our seats for a moment. And all the time. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. And uh, this is the longest liturgy that we have with the church. The longest and most detailed liturgy. Like Father, uh, Father Michael put it, of course it is the mother, the source of all the liturgies that we have with the church. And so we'd like to thank God that uh, uh, we have made it and it has been wonderful. We'd like to thank all of you first, all of us. We'd like to thank uh, the word proclaimers, those who have proclaimed the word, the electors of the day. They have done so well. They have chanted so well. And uh, they have done so well. Don't you think so? Let us appreciate them. Although I realize they were dominated by one gender but uh, they did so well and uh, but I think there is a balance because this side also here it has been dominated by one one gender so there is a balance God knows how to balance these things so we are grateful they have uh, prepared so well and so I would like to thank the liturgy group we have a liturgy committee here and they are responsible, they, tap, they take that responsibility. Uh, now headed by Father Michael, Father Michael now is the one who is uh, guiding that group. So uh, Father Michael, Father Michael and uh, the liturgy members, thank you very much. Let us appreciate it. We also appreciate Father, Father Simon, Father Simon Nganga who has coordinated, coordinated this uh, liturgy uh, today. Thank you very much, Father. It is not easy. Thank you. Thank you. And we would like to thank uh, also the sisters. The sisters also, uh, we have sisters working here in the sacristy, and they have also done their work so well. It's not easy to make sure that everything is intact and uh, in place. So let us appreciate our sisters. So Sister Emily and all the other sisters, thank you very much for that commitment and good work. May God continue to bless you. We would like to thank our choir. They have done it so well. Let us appreciate our choir. We appreciate and also our potential priests. Let us appreciate our masters. Yes. Yes, they are still very young, but they have endured this journey. So thank you very much. And uh, we also would like to appreciate uh, 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 the priests, the priests uh, who uh, the whole of today we have been, uh, we have availed ourselves for conversions, and we, some of them we have them here. We have like Father Wambua, George Wambua, Father Jas. Yeah, that's Father God Wabua. And all the other, the other priests, maybe Father Wambua, because you are the only guest here, I'll give you a chance maybe to say hi on behalf of the priests and uh, the other, or the other uh, confessors. Uh, I would like also to appreciate and to congratulate our deacons. See Our deacons. Kama hiyo biyo ya pasaka, 
Simeingia vizuri. Bia ya Pasaka. Kwa hivyo Deacon James ongera sana. Nilikuwa na hofu sana lakini nimeona uko sawa, umeiva. Umeiva lakini let us appreciate them our deacons. Hiyo bio ya Pasaka hata wanakwaya tukiwaambia wasimame hapa. Sijui kama watamaliza. Tunaijua, tunaijua bio ya Pasaka. Kwa hivyo asante sana Deacon, we wish you well uh, in your uh, uh, experience here as you prepare to become priests. So I was also would like to uh, appreciate in a special way Deacon James, the captain, captain, uh, sorry, uh, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, sorry, Jeffrey, Simama, Uyu Sasa, Uyu Dye Meta Arisha, how they are now, they are, don't call them catechumens now. Now they are not catechumens. Now they are, they are, they are, Postgraduates <laughs> or graduates, you can call them graduates, yes. But uh, Saint Paul used to call them neophytes or young Christians. These are the young Christians now, now here, and we thank uh, the Conjoyfrey. He has been with them after Father Mali left. So we'd like to thank also Father Mali. He was a deacon by then. He was their teacher. Then uh, Joyfrey came and took over. And he has completed the journey with them. Thank you. Let us appreciate the joint people. And uh, finally, now I would like to congratulate this this group. Uh, we spent the whole day with them today, today, and we still try to uh, to, to prepare them. And I I experienced that. Or rather, I can attest that they are they are very committed. They are very committed. So we congratulate you now, and like Father, like Father Dishu said, you have now started another, another journey, another journey. So we wish you, we wish you well. Uh, as a church here at the Basilica, we normally encourage the group not to, to get scattered after they get these sacraments. So they have formed a group, and uh, they have decided to call it Saints. Perpetua and Feristi Small Christian Community. So let us congratulate them. Actually, they came up with the idea. I can see sisters looking at me because one of the sisters is Perpetua, but that is not the idea. They said they want eh, Saint Perpetua, the two great African saints. They want to 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 be to have them as their patron saints. So. We would like uh, to wish you to, we, to wish you well, to wish you well, and uh, remember tomorrow you still come now being very smart than today, because already now uh, we want to present you to the Archbishop at 11:30 Mass, so that you have special blessings uh, from the from the Archbishop uh, Philip Agnolo uh, during the 11:30 Mass. So we, we wish you well. Please be firm, be firm, and be very firm as a Christian wherever you are. And try to practice, try to practice. Let us not be theological. Christianity is not a, a theoretical thing. It's something you have to live. If you don't live it, it will just you know, fade away and it will not help you at all. So you have to practice it. So I'd like to, 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 to wish you well. May God be with you. And we will continue journeying with you as you continue learning uh, many things in the church and, of course, our own practice here at the Basilica. So let us congratulate and appreciate all the young, young Christians. Finally, I would like to appreciate our main celebrants. Let us appreciate him. Na pia ametuongoza vizuri kwa ibada Ndikuwa naona You know he is very light The skin, he was turning red Najua wazungu Wazungu when they get tired They turn red So he was getting So Father thank you very much Thank you very much, you have done so well You prepared all these things You know, uh, with the liturgists And you have now presided over this liturgy 
May God bless you. You have done it so well. You have made us feel now we are now in Easter and you have uh, inspired us so much with your preaching. May God bless you and give you more and more vigor to continue serving, serving the Lord. Santi Sana. Father, Unamutu ni mesahau? Eh? Ah, Mimi, for me, I don't. I don't. Hey, I'm okay. I'd like uh, to thank all of you, all the Christians, all the Christians, for your, for your, for your patience. Uh, thank you for, for coming. And I'd like to remind you that tomorrow is a Easter Sunday. Easter Sunday, and our masses, masses will run as usual. From 7, 8, 9, 30, 10, 7, 8, 9, 30, 11, 30, and 5, 30 in the evening. Those are our masses, so we have them as usual on Sundays. I'd like to wish you well. May God continue to bless you and have a Easter. Sunday. Mbua, kuja wongea kikamba kido. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. So on behalf of the priest, I just want to wish you happy Easter to congratulate our neophytes and uh, to pray that the recent Lord would also rise in our hearts, in our families, and bring Easter blessings to each one of us. God bless you and happy Easter. May Almighty God bless you through this Easter solemnity and in his compassion defend you from every assault of sin. Amen. May respond and say amen. amen. May he who restores you to eternal life in the resurrection of his only begotten son Endow you with the price of immortality. Amen. Now the days of the Lord's passion have drawn to a cross. May you who celebrate gladness the Paschal feast come with Christ's help and exhorting in spirit to those feasts that are celebrated in eternal joy. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Alleluia.
Kapuchin TV, your Catholic Broadcasting Ministry. We also appreciate the services that we are given by the Kapuchin TV. Kapuchin TV, uh, I think I've heard many people telling us, Father, we are able to follow your Mass. I think that's a great thing. Let us appreciate the captions. We have agreed with the Caption TV they will be covering all our masses, including the weekday masses. Weekday masses they will be covering. The intention being to preach and to reach out to other people, even those who are not able to attend the mass. This is the only Catholic TV that we have. We have never had any Catholic TV. So let us pray for them, let us support them, let us encourage them so that it will be fully established. They are still limited. They are still limited in the sense that they don't have enough equipment. If they had enough equipment, they would have, you know, they would be able to cover several masses now in our Kidauses and in our country, Kenya. You know, like, I wish Catholics would support this TV so that it can be as strong as other secular. We have been so much manipul man manipulated by secular TVs. Why don't we also have our own? And we can channel now our information. Sometimes I wonder about Christians. You know, when we, t we take our advert to the secular TV, it is okay, but you are supporting it. Senor, because you are paying. We have also ways of supporting our captured TV. We have, we have. We can support in many ways. Now they are so limited, as I said, because of the resources that they have. So let us support them as an individual. Think of how you can support this TV. Twendele kufanya kazi, baby number 5106789. Account name Caps TV. You are watching Capuchin TV. For any complaints, comments, or compliments on our programming, you can either write to us on info at capuchintv.co.ke or you can call us directly on 0717-424-866. Your complaint shall be addressed within seven days. Remember to keep a copy of your communication with us. Keep watching Capuchin TV, your Catholic identity. Hey Easter, Burudi Kana Star Times. Enjoy amazing Easter offers on our decoders at our business halls. DTT paid decoder reduced from 1,499 to 1,200 shillings. DTT FTA decoder reduced from 2,699 to 2,299 shillings. DTH decoder reduced from 1,499 to 1,300 shillings. Inclusive of one month classic subscription. Offer runs from 27th March until 10th of April 2023. Star Times. Enjoy. Enjoy digital life. Nini Cottage Mission Hospital is a medical center of choice. The hospital offers 24-hour profound and holistic outpatient and inpatient services. We are equipped with modern medical facilities. Our services are patient-centered, delivered by friendly and compassionate staff. We are a NHIF accredited and we also accept covers from major insurance providers and schemes. We also have MediClaim Cover, which covers AON for the teachers and the CIC for both Kenya Prison Police Service and the National Police Service. Our ambulance services are available round the clock. 
visit Kimilini Cottage Mission Hospital today. We are strategically located at Kimilini town of Kitale Webuye Highway. For more information, contact us on 0723-644-555 or email us on Kiminini Hospital at yahoo.co.uk or visit our website at www.kimininicottagehospital.com. Kiminini Cottage Mission Hospital. We treat God Heals. Wasafiri na walio manyumbani, walio kazini na walio likizoni, walio kifungoni na walio hospitalini, walio mjini na walio vijijini, baada ya ibada au badala ya kazi. Heri njema na baraka tele za siku kuu. Siku kuu ni siku kuu. Ule omena au ingho, ule mbuzi au mbuzi ulaya, ule ngombe au swara, ule sungura au bata, siku kuu ni siku kuu tu. Ule ugali kwa sukuma au chapo kwa ndengu, ule matoke au maharagwe, ule mukimo au mudhokoi, ule mchelenjeri, viazi karai au biryani special. Sukuku ni sukuku. Popote ulipo, chochote ulacho, kapu chintivi inakutakia wewe na wapendo wako. Heri njema na baraka za pasaka. Kristu mfufuka na awe mwanga katika maisha yako. Endelea kutazama. Kapuchin TV Kitambulisho chako Katoliki Welcome to Language Connection Center International. We are located in Kenda House, fourth floor next to Afia Center along Tomboya in the city of Nairobi. We are professional language trainers, translators, interpreters, editors, rapporteurs, and consultants of international sign, African and unique language of the world. At Language Connection Center, our programs are the most cost effective in the region. At Language Connection Center, our classes run from 7 a.m. to 8 p.m., but are flexible and convenient. Call us on 0721 287 034. Visit Language Connection Center today to speak and write languages. Ready for a tasteful and memorable guest experience? Choose the exclusive Radix Hotel for an ideal place to stay and enjoy hospitality at its best. We are a hotel of its own kind. We are a hotel that uh, lead traps in morals and uh, the opinion and the teaching of the church. We exemplify compassion in the hospitality industry through our top-notch accommodation and recreational facilities amplified by modern aesthetics. We are also a family-based oriented uh, uh, hotel whereby we support the morals and values of family who have got uh, that uh, abundance of uh, uh, smiley face and uh, goodness. And 
we spread happiness to people by offering our services with that touch of uh, a smile. The Radix Hotel guarantees you homely comfort and good taste with a variety of hotel services and facilities that are cut out for your budget and preference. The reason why we call ourselves a home away from home is because of the calmness that we offer to the facilities that we have allowed here. Our services include spacious affordable accommodation rooms, a restaurant with an assortment of delicious cuisines, fully fledged conference halls, open grounds with manicured lawns for outdoor events, clean swimming area, and a well-organized chapel for spiritual reflection. We also do offer food and restaurant services, uh, outside catering services, events and banquets, eh? and also we have some grounds whereby we host uh, corporate events and team building activities. We've got uh, 198 rooms, the conference halls, to host various events and uh, trainings, workshops and seminars. Be our guest today and experience the warmth and service of Christian hospitality. Uh, our menu is a broad, it covers broad spectrum. We cover both local food, uh, we cover uh, oriental food as well as continental food. So everybody who comes here at the Radix is well catered for. Last time when I was here, I had the pumpkin soup and it looked wonderful. It was so tasty. The Radix of Stale offers a very wonderful service. We are located in Karen, Nairobi, off Langata South Road, next to Apostle of Jesus Shrine. We have the surrounding of uh, the most iconic places surrounding us. We are just uh, two kilometers away from the iconic Nairobi National Park. We also have also some other failures interesting sightseeing uh, alongside surrounding us. We have the Mati Bros at Gallery, just some few meters away from us. We also have the famous Karen Bricks and uh, Museum, located uh, also uh, within uh, a distance from us. We also have the famous uh, research center, International for Primate Research Institute, IPR, also located within a uh, walking distance from where we are located. When you residing or boarding with us, you needs are well catered for as you can uh, walk along in uh, one of uh, our main shopping malls like the Galeria shopping mall, the Well shopping mall and we also have uh, a petrol station just within uh, the vicinity of our hotel. Call our office at 0708-990451 or 0105-020-760 or 0794-897277 for inquiries and bookings. You can also write to us via email to reception at the theladixhotel.co.ke or at the reception theladix at gmail.com or at info theladixhotel.co.ke for updates about our services, offers, and special banqueting, follow us on Facebook at The Radix Hotel, Twitter handle at the underscore Radix underscore hotel, and Instagram at underscore Radix dot Nairobi. Welcome to The Radix Hotel. You are home away from home. The Radix Hotel, a true definition of your home away from home.